We're going to set up our car hacking lab on our Kali Linux virtual machine. But we'll need to do a few things to set this up. It's going to take a few steps, but we're going to go through each one piece by piece with you so that you can see how to rebuild this on any Kali Linux computer. You may even want to have a separate dedicated computer if you've got an old laptop around that you want to plug into one of the CAN to USB uh, devices so that you can listen to your real controller area network in your car. Uh, you may want to do this just on your virtual lab machine if you don't have access to a vehicle or you don't want to mess around with your vehicle yet. Uh, you can do lots of practice labs uh, listening to packets that go across. The, all of these controls send an electronic signal. and Those electronic signals look just like a network packet that you might see in another tool called Wireshark on a regular PC. We're going to sniff those packets. You can analyze those and you can start to practice understanding what different diagnostic codes mean and how to find them. Um, you can also just replay codes on your car and see what things you can control just by using that controller area network that don't require physical interaction with your dashboard or your steering wheel or your other controls. Um, in some cars you'll only be able to, to uh, steer the car using the controller area network when it's in reverse. Uh, there are some really cool things that you can find out when you actually try these on a real automobile. So let's find out how to set up the controller area network, our virtual controller area network, on our Kali Linux box. So we're going to do a few installations. We're going to use the sudo apt-get install to install what we call some dependencies. These are some things that Kali Linux needs to be able to compile the CAN utilities. Then we're going to install those CAN utilities we will then download and install and we're going to use git uh, if you've never used git uh, it's a terrific package a terrific open source tool for us to download big packages of open source software from github and uh, store our software up if we're working on a package that we want to share with the world git is the way that we do it most often uh, you can see we'll use a git clone to pull some things from craig smith's uh, OpenGarages.org software, that's Zombie Craig that you see down there. We're going to compile those tools using the IC sim, um, and we're going to be able to uh, run a full controller area network simulator and an instrument cluster simulator right on our local Kali Linux box. So let's switch over to Kali Linux. The first thing we need to do with our Kali Linux box, because we're going to be downloading some tools from the internet and uh, using the advanced packaging tool or the apt-get tool on Kali Linux, is we need to connect it to our public NAT. So I'm going to open up my networking. I'm going to change the host-only adapter. Remember, we keep it in host-only VBox Net Zero to keep the world safe from Kali and keep our Kali safe from uh, prying eyes on the outside. But I'm going to switch over to the NAT network. Don't switch to NAT. Make sure you're using the NAT network public NAT. That's the one that we set up that will give us a 10.0.9 address and allow us to surf the public internet so that we can download these files. Now I'll start my Kali Linux box. And I'll go to full screen for Kali Linux for this one because we're going to have multiple windows open. And uh, if you need to log back into Kali Linux, if it had shut down or locked you out, remember root is your username and tor, T-O-O-R, is your password. I'm in good shape here, so I'm going to come to my terminal. And I'm going to make the terminal large enough that I can see it well. Just control plus or control shift and the plus key. And the first thing I'm going to do is load those dependencies. So I'm going to say sudo. Well, first, let's double check that we're on a public network. That's a smart thing for us to do. ifconfig, and I'm on my 10.9.4. Remember, if you need to uh, disconnect and reconnect from your network, that should be fine. Or if you need to do a sudo service network-manager restart, if you didn't get a 10.9 address. So I'm going to clear my screen. So let's type our sudo apt-get install libsdl2-dev ah, and you'll see an error that we sometimes get for some reason with a fresh install of Kali sometimes you'll get this error here this is that it can't get a lock now if you're not running apt-get anywhere uh, you can just do a sudo rm and remove that var lib dpkg lock there we go 
Uh, you should only do that if you are not currently updating, like with a sudo apt-get update. In fact, it's not a bad idea. After you do a sudo remove varlib dpackage lock, we do a sudo apt-get update. And again, that'll take just a few seconds. You only need to do this if you got an error when you tried to install your libsdl2-dev. And I'll clear the screen again. So we did just a couple of steps there. If you got an error here on uh, the lock, that just means that APT, the Advanced Packaging Toolkit, didn't uh, release a lock last time or something else uh, has caused an error here. So we're just going to remove that lock and then we do a sudo apt-get update. Now if we clear, we should be able to sudo apt-get install libsd l2-dev. This will let us do some development and it looks like the package libsdl2-dev is a little bit newer so let's try one other quick thing. We're going to do a sudo apt-get install systemd so the system D was not very new here, so we're going to yes on updates. And that may take just a moment to install, but I'm going to clear the screen again. So we can just up arrow a couple of times to libsdl2-dev. And yes this time. So we did need to do the sudo apt get install libsdl2-dev after we did a sudo apt get um, install system D. The installation of this developer toolkit, libsdl2, will take a couple of minutes, but when it finishes up, we should be able to clear the screen and then go to sudo apt get, well actually we can do an up arrow, and we want to do libsdl2-image-dev. This will let us show some really cool graphical dashboard images, and we need this for the instrument cluster simulator. You'll need to hit a capital Y or you can actually just hit YY as the default. Once that completes successfully, we're going to clear the screen again, and I will say sudo apt-get install. And these are the CAN utilities. This is the controller area network utilities. CAN utils. CAN-utils. And setting up CAN utils may take just a couple of moments, but when it finishes up, we'll be ready for the next lesson where we'll actually use git to download and install some uh, tools from the open source website GitHub from our open source friends, uh, Craig Smith and the team at opengarages.org. We'll see that in the next lesson.